South Florida is known for its invasive species biodiversity, including many lizards that come from all around the world. But perhaps the most infamous invasive species is the Burmese python, a large constrictor native to Southeast Asia whose aquatic life history has allowed them to colonize the sawgrass wetlands of the Everglades and other surrounding areas. One day, I would like to do a comprehensive video on Burmese pythons in South Florida, but for this one, I will be focusing on just one aspect, and that is removing them from the environment. To start, Burmese pythons are one of more than a dozen invasive reptiles that are classified as prohibited in the state of Florida. A prohibited reptile in Florida is a high-risk invasive species that cannot be owned as a pet in the state, cannot be sold in the commercial pet trade within the state, and cannot be transported alive without a permit in the state. Hunting Burmese pythons in Florida can be done recreationally without a prohibited reptile permit year-round on private land with permission from landowners and on 32 commission-managed lands in the state. When doing so, it is important to know that without a prohibited reptile permit, all captured pythons must be humanely euthanized at the time and at the location of capture. On commission lands, it is important to abide by rules and regulations of each specific area. But there are some locations where hunting pythons recreationally is not allowed, and that includes within the boundaries of the Everglades National Park. Additionally, recreational hunters do not receive a bounty for any snakes captured. The only people who are compensated for captured Burmese pythons are winners of the annual Python Challenge, contractors in the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's Python Action Team Removing Invasive Constrictors, and contractors in South Florida Water Management District's Python Elimination Program. There are a total of 100 contractors between the two agencies. As a contractor, one is allowed to hunt pythons across most of South Florida, including places that are off-limits to the public. A contractor is listed under a prohibited reptile permit, meaning that a captured python can be live transported, but must be humanely euthanized by the contractor within 24 hours of capture. A contractor is paid $50 for every python captured, plus an additional $25 for every foot over 4 feet long, meaning that a 6-foot python is worth $100. In some locations, a contractor can also earn an hourly pay even if no snakes are captured during their survey. There are rules and regulations that contractors have to follow, such as people who can accompany them on their surveys. Only people designated as assistants are allowed to join Python contractors. I myself recently became an assistant in SFWMD's Python Elimination Program and joined my friend Peter, a contractor, on a couple of night surveys. We spent two nights driving around agricultural areas in South Florida and were incredibly successful, removing 18 Burmese pythons total. For those of you who have watched my videos, the remainder of this one will be similar to my herping vlog episodes where I will show the two of us coming across the pythons we found. Oh yeah boy! Little hatchling Burmese python. It's that time of year. Baby season. We just got another oh hatchling gosh. Burmese python. And then right next to him, there's another little... little Look at that. Alright, we just got our third hatchling Burmese python on the night. Wow. Alright. Pretty cool. Super sick. All right, we just got our fourth Burmese python of the night, this little hatchling um, here. So what we're going to do is we're removing the snakes. We are actually out here contracting for removing Burmese pythons. So we're going to get this snake out of the environment and we're going to keep on going and maybe we'll find another one. But fourth python of the night. The fifth Burmese python on the night had been hit by a car. 
alive and badly injured, we humanely euthanized the snake in the field and were allowed to collect it for our survey. All right, we just got our sixth Burmese python of the night. <laughs> this is actually insane. It sure is. So what the heck? Look at that. Burmese python number seven. Number seven. Number seven right here. I don't believe it. I'm I don't either. Oh my god, this, this is unbelievable. It's the same spot where we literally got the first two. We've got three from this one spot. All right, so here is Python number seven, and here is Burmese Python number eight. Four pythons in the same spot, likely a nest nearby. This is just unbelievable at this point. This is absolutely crazy. That too. <laughs> And that, people, is Burmese Python number nine. <laughs> number nine. We they got are. number nine Burmese Python right here. We're almost, maybe we can hit double digits tonight. I don't know. What do you think, Peter? We're going to get double digits? Maybe. I don't want to jinx anything, but we're going to try. All right. Sure. We did it. We did it. 10th Burmese Python of the night. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> All right, we just got Burmese Python number 11 on the night. <laughs> this is, hey there, turning out to be just incredible. <laughs> 11. We just got our 12th Burmese Python of the night. Number 12. Unbelievable. Words can't really describe it right now. All right, so Peter right now is holding the 13th Burmese Python of the night. Crazy stuff. It is just literally insane right now. See if we honestly get any more. So crazy. All right, first Burmese python of the night. This is the second night of python hunting. And so going back to last night, this is our 14th python in the last uh, 24 hours, basically, which is crazy. All right, Peter just got <laughs> our second Burmese python. This is, a two, this is a two for one stop. I noticed it way back there. We're yep. back at the car where we were filling out the data for the other one. All right, so that's two pythons back to back. Pretty cool. Here is python number three. Really cool. All right, Burmese python number four. Pretty cool. We got a good size berm at there 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 2 a.m. here. Wow. That's Take a look at that. Wow. That's really cool. All right, so here is Peter with um, this last python we got at 2 a.m. This one's pushing about 5 feet. So normally every Burmese python captured is $50. And any snake that's over four feet long is $25 per foot. So we're looking at a potentially $75 snake right there. And yeah, we think it's around five feet. And this is pretty exciting. This is our fifth Burmese python of the night. And we're honestly heading back and pretty tired and defeated. Yeah. And we just found this guy on the road. Who, yeah. know, who knows what else we'll find at 2 a.m. I know, it's crazy. There we go.